biggest assets, its athletic champions. Kenya is indeed home to the world record-breaking athletes. This was part of the inspiration behind the Endo Running Shoe, a homegrown shoe brand that sought to leverage on Kenya's athletic prowess to positively position Africa on the global stage. When I came back, I was trying to figure out what can I do in the field of sports that is essentially um, encompassing a broad number of people so that there's like actual economic benefit. But at the same time, it's also like telling our positive stories from our perspective. And when I was going through these thought processes, I met my business partner and he shared the same insights in terms of how can we basically bring more social justice to a country that has so much uh, global reputation but hasn't capitalized on that reputation and that is when we decided to start Enda. Nava says Kenya's running fame provided a solid foundation for them to build a business on. It has been it has been the foundation of our brand because Kenyan running is global. It's a global brand by itself. When people say the Kenyans are running you almost know it's be a, a clean medal sweep and uh, there has been a lot of work put in by great men and women in sports who came before us and us kind of coming in and just taking advantage of what they have built and saying what can we build on so the Kenyan brand of running has been very helpful it has been a brand by itself and it has also made people question like yeah you know why hasn't Kenya made a running shoe so I would say for a fact that it is the foundation of who we are and it's also what we want to share with the world so that people can run the way Kenyans run, and uh, we can help them do that while creating positive social impact. And they entered a field dominated by foreign brands that have long exploited Kenyan's top athletes to grow their market share, something never wanted to change through their Enda brand. We protect our future generation. And again, if you look at other countries, they have really monetized on their global reputations, be it Germany from their machines, Italy from their fashion, Kenya from running haven't done that. So you find that the, the gross GDP, when you look at the contribution that has been based on that country's reputation, we haven't been able to do that. So what we are doing at ENDA is essentially saying the same question. If others have been able to do it, why can't we do it locally? Despite the sportswear market being extremely competitive, Nava says ENDA targets runners and not necessarily those looking for athleisure wear. So our niche market is runners around the world, be it uh, joggers, serious runners, and even people who are sitting on the couch thinking about being runners, because everybody wants to be healthy, especially with the uh, increase in lifestyle diseases. And also just the idea of creating shoes that are based on how our athletes run, the different types of run instead of trend. So that way we are also different because we are consistent, because we are looking at what are you running and how do we cater to that run, as opposed to looking at different trends and fashions and gimmicks and saying. According to Nava, the shoes market reception has been both good in the country and in diaspora. However, the business has not been short of challenges. So the way the law is structured right now is that for you to be an EPZ, you must have uh, like a physical location. And um, I think that it's, it's disadvantageous to locals. First, from a perspective of if you look at where the world is heading to, it's a shared economy. That's limiting because it means that it limits manufacturing to people who have lots of money, of which we don't fall in that category. Advantages of EPZs are many, uh, mostly being that um, you essentially uh, have some tax relief when you're importing your raw materials or your machinery. So we are not able to do that. As a result, we have to pay input VAT and then claim it when we, um, when we export. In the end, Nava hopes that Ender will be the global go-to running shoe. I want that somebody in the middle of nowhere to be like, okay, I need running shoes, what should I get? And it should definitely, like, Ender should be one of the brands that are featured. While running has long been a hobby for Kenyans and a pride point for the country on a global stage, the tide is changing. Running is slowly turning into a business and Kenyans, like Nava, are leveraging Kenya's strong reputation as the home of athletic champions to build a brand that will perhaps set the trend for more homegrown sport brands. For Metropole TV, I'm Ondero Oganga.